Well, and landed on the beach in Normandy. We were there for a short, very short while, clearing minefields. The Germans counterattacked it in there, and we were used as infantry for a short period. And then we went on across France. We overran a, uh, a death camp, I would call it, uh, and there were still some of the prisoners there. And they had on a stripe it like a prison suit. And, and uh, they, they told us about what was happening there. They showed us the uh, chambers. They were gas chambers, but they were told they were to take showers. So they told them all their clothes off, get in the shower, and then they gassed them. And then they loaded them into these furnaces and uh, cremated them. And uh, anyway, a few of them were still alive in there. So we saw that. Glad to see us, of course. Yeah, we were feeding them, of course, with rations we had. And then after we were bombed on the Rhine River, we overran the aircraft parked beside the uh, Autobahn, and I got to crawl into the airplane. First time I'd ever seen a jet aircraft. And being an aeronautical engineer, I was very interested, of course. <laughs> the B-36 had fabric horizontal stabilizer controls. Fabric, like in World War I, pusher props on the B-36 vibrated that horizontal stabilizer to pieces and so they replaced them with metal. So that's how far back I go in the aircraft industry. Fabric covered. <laughs>